Hi guys, I'd like to talk to you today about how AppliCAD prepares a cutting list for a new tech roll forming machine and based on their new NTM 200 controller. The starting point is to generate a 3D model of your roof and I did one short yesterday, let's, uh, let's pick a simple one, that's a good job. So there's the job that we measured up yesterday. Uh, measurements are exactly as we checked them. Uh, change the outline. No, it's going to be a pitched roof. It's going to have metal on it. It's a 712 roof with a two foot overhang. We hit OK. And we hit continue. And there's our roof built. So there's a whole bunch of checking processes. I'm not going to do that today. Um, but you would normally go through the process of checking and uh, um, that's handled in another YouTube video. Our focus today is outputting to the new Tech2 um, NTM200 controller. So, first step after we've modelled our roof and checked that it's correct is to select our cover material. So I'm going to do a 16 inch standing seam panel and it confirms for me uh, any pay rates if I'm charging for the installation and any allowances that I might use. Uh, I'll use my default allowances. Uh, these are important numbers. Uh, the allowances take account of the setback from the ridge and hip, the offset from the valley, and the overhang into the gutter, plus the amount you need to hem the bottom of the panel. Now, based on those allowances, we're ready to generate our cutting list. These allowances are set in the panel allowances button set there. I'm going to round the panels to the nearest one inch and instead of having the exact length so they're all like 13 and 17 64 and numbers like that I'm going to round them to the nearest inch and it makes the whole thing easier to handle and I hit OK and generate my panels so save this away something original like raised test job just for fun and there's my cutting list so I've got a, a an exact cutting list all the dimensions are rounded to the nearest inch as requested I've also said anything shorter than a, a, a eight foot length put the dimension outside so I can read the numbers that all makes sense it tells me what the total length of coil is required for this job so I need to order a minimum of uh, let's say 1610 feet of coil probably go a little bit higher maybe 1650 when I order it and the waste factor in this job is 8.5 percent and that's it I then go off and do my quotation, the customer comes back and says it's good to go. So then I come back into this dialog box and hit export to roll former, select the controller and it's going to be the new tech 200, hit OK and it's done. And that's it. So now I go down to Windows Explorer and bring that over here so you can see it and I created that cut list in my folder here and sort by date, you'll find it quicker. So there's my cut list for my job. Drag and drop that onto my memory stick, which is going out to the site with the guys, and we're good to go. And that's it. Send the memory stick with the installation documentation, and the project's finished, from an estimating point of view anyway. Hope that helps. Any questions, give us a yell and uh, only too pleased to help you out. Bye for now.